Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the One True King. We are glad that you have joined us today. Today's lesson is called Representing the Kingdom. If you attended last week, you might recall the topics of what you invest in grows and ask anything. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I ask you, Lord Jesus, that you anoint this Bible study for your glory. May thy will be done. I ask that more people come to hear about you, Lord Jesus, through coffee with the one true king. May they know your word deeper and deeper in 2022. May the spiritual roots go down deep in you and be watered and fling up enormously. In Jesus' name, amen. My question for you this morning is, if someone asks you, what is the, I'll show you mine, what is the cross around your neck representing? I wonder if your immediate answer would be that you as a Christian or a representative of the kingdom of God. Timothy Keller says, God's grace really operates according to our schedule. If you have your Bible, turn to 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1. Follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Do you desire this year in 2022 to be more like Jesus? Our identity is rooted in our Savior. We belong to Him. Christ renews our mind year after year. The Holy Spirit rewires us to be more like Him. Liza Torka says, God's Word is a gift, but it won't do us any good if we don't accept the gift, open the gift, and use the gift. Now many of you Remember that a week and a half ago, we celebrated a national holiday known as Christmas. And what happens at Christmas? You receive gifts and beautifully white paper and you tear them open, right? But we as Christians know Christmas wasn't about presents. It's always been about the birth of Jesus. So I hope that you remembered that a couple weeks ago. The real reason that we celebrated. An anonymous author says, Faith is contagious, so let's make sure to live our faith out loud and lead others to Jesus. How are you going to lead others to Jesus this year? 
the world needs to know about our Savior who loves us and calls us his own. Are you going to stand with other believers and tell them about the one true king who died on the cross for those sins out of his mercy and grace? Many of y'all may be familiar with the worship song that says, Your grace is enough. It was written by Matt Mayo, and he sings it, and also Chris Tomlin sings it. And the chorus says, your grace is enough. I'm thankful for God's mercy. Eric Gagnon says, we stand together across the world and say, Jesus is Lord. If you look at Romans 8, verse 14, it says, Verse 13 before that says, for if you live according to the sinful na nature, you will die. But if the spirit you put to death, the misdeeds of the body, you will live. Because those who are led by the spirit of God are sons of God. Depending on what translation you use, some of it says, are the children of God. Are you spiritually lost? The Lord can find you. He knows exactly where we are at this moment. You are never out of his reach. Our Heavenly Father's grace changes everything. Do you love like Christ does? T.W. Mansion says, In the kingdom of God, service is not a stepping stone to nobility. It is nobility. God wants us as Christians to live the way that he commands everyone to in his world. One day, all of creation will fall on their knees before him. We are called to maintain a holy life. Are you displaying his light in 2022 better than you did in 2021? 1 John 2 says, whoever claims to live as him, excuse me, whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. May we live for God's renown this year. Remember, he is the famous one, not us. Who is it all about? Jesus. I will remind you that it is not about us. Are you pursuing the King of Kings? Place 2022 in his hands. God can do more with our obedience than our disobedience. If I asked you to list the 12 traits of Jesus, would you be able to name them? If anyone here today does not know what they are, don't worry. I will make it easy for you by naming them one by one. The traits of the 12 traits of Jesus are Number one, mighty. Number two, awesome. Number three, righteous. Number four, gracious. Number five, knowing. Number six, enemy overflowing. Number seven, father. Number eight, teacher. Number nine, master. Number ten, leader. Number eleven, jealous. Number twelve, loving. C.H. Storgian says, Our faith is not to be confined to our closet. We must carry out that which we believe. 
Surrender your life and heart to him. Continuing 2022 on the right footing. Hold on to Christ this year. He is trustworthy and will always be there for his followers. Build your relationship with Jesus on a solid foundation, which doesn't sink when the storms come ashore. We are called to a holy life. Walk wisely, following him each day. Allow his word to be your guide by setting time aside in your busy schedule for studying. This year, may we seek him deeper than ever before. Wise up and pray. God is near and always bends down to listen to our requests. I wholeheartedly believe that he will revive us spiritually in 2022. We will be back next week with a lesson called Time Spent Alone with God is Never Wasted. If you have any prayer requests, we will gladly pray for you on Facebook in our prayer ministry called Jesus Our Intercessor. You may click join today and submit those requests. I'm going to close and prayer. May you have a blessed week. Holy Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that others will invest in the relationship with you this year. That the spirits will be renewed. And that they will go deeper in love with you. And their roots will go down deep and fling up spiritually. I ask you, Lord, that you... Let this Bible study be used for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. But if anyone here does not know Jesus or would like to rededicate their life to him, you may do so at this time. Just repeat this prayer after me. Holy Father, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. I have that sweat and I would like to rededicate my life to you in 2022, starting on the right foot and not the wrong path. I open the door of my heart to you. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I surrender every strew inch of my heart and every part of my life to you. I ask you to wane in me. I ask for your spirit to lead me this year. I believe that Jesus is Lord and he died on the cross and rose from the dead. I confess from the mouth and believe in the heart that Jesus is Lord. And your word says if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Please, Lord, I want to take up my cross and follow you. I believe that Jesus is seated at the right hand of God, the Father in heaven. I want to live wholeheartedly for him in 2022 and tell the whole world about Jesus and lead, lead others to him so that they can hear the gospel as we live it out. Thank you, Lord, for making me a new creation reviving me spiritually and saving my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just pray that prayer, find a local church near you. Let the pastors there know that you just got saved. 
they will have resources available to you, Bibles and classes for new believers. If you want to dig into the Word of God before then and don't want to wait until Wednesday night or Sunday morning, you can go into the Play Store of whatever mobile company device you have. They have free Bible apps that you can download. That won't cost you a penny. And you can start reading the Bible in whichever translation you prefer. Also, you can go online and type in Bible online. You can click on one of the websites and you can read the Bible that way for free. Those are just a couple ways to dig into the Lord if you don't have an actual Bible yet. May you stay safe and we will be back here next Tuesday. God bless. Bye.